lives in San Francisco in an apartment with her mama and Lola. Lou keeps busy building in workshop and is pretty good at it, but then finds out that her mom is applying to a job in Washington State, away from her big Filipino family and everything she's ever known. So she comes up with a plan to build a tiny house on land she inherited from her dad. Maybe her mom won't make the move if Lou has her own house and she'll feel closer to her dad who passed away. For a job like this, she'll need all the help she can get. Find out if Lou builds the house of her dreams in The House That Lou Built by Mae Respicio. I'm always excited whenever I find a book with a Filipino American as a lead because I am part Filipino. My mom is from the Philippines and I feel like I don't see a lot of representation in children's literature about that. What I liked about Lou was that she loved a uh, workshop and woodworking and that is not a very typical hobby that kids usually have, but it didn't matter what other pop people thought, that was just something that she loved. I really also enjoyed reading about her extended family because I also have a large Filipino extended family and whenever I get the chance I love to hang out with them. If you like this, you would probably also like Ana Maria Reyes Does Not Live in a Castle by Hilda Eunice Burgos. It's middle grade reads with everyday stories with girls who are very proud of their ethnic heritage. So this would be appropriate for probably ages, well grades 3 through probably even 7. And so thank you for watching. Please click and subscribe and happy reading.